Hello, my name is Donnett Douglas, and I'm the general manager here at WTJR Channel 16 in Quincy, Illinois. This program, Behind the Scenes, you're watching right now, we record right here in the studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy. Well, it's an exciting time of the year, isn't it? Everybody's really, really busy. And you know, I wanted to share, before we get into the program today, a few cards that I got. You know, you don't get many cards uh, these days. A lot of people don't send them. And uh, I remember a few years back, right here on Behind the Scenes, I would, for the whole month of December, be sharing cards with you. But you know what? I don't even send out cards anymore. I don't know if we think we've got too busy, it's got too expensive or what, but I do enjoy my cards and I set them up on my desk so I can enjoy them. Here is a beautiful one. It's kind of a 3D where the trees stand out and uh, this was to uh, myself and Penny and Jim and Karen, the staff here at WTJR. Have a blessed Christmas. Isn't that beautiful? The Christmas tree. Whoops. And then this one here I love with the star. It says, a star led the way to the light of the world. And this uh, was from right here in Quincy, Illinois, from River of Life Church. And uh, Donette and WTJR crew, may he shine on every part of your Christmas celebration. God bless you throughout the season and in the new year with appreciation for all that you do. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that card. Here's one with snowflakes. Merry Christmas from right here in Quincy, Illinois. Yeah, we'll set them up here on our table. Have a pretty table today. Amen. And this one is a dove with peace on earth. And uh, may the spirit of Christmas bless your home with peace and love. God bless all the staff at WTJR. That is coming from Beardstown, Illinois. Then we have Mary and the baby Jose, uh, Jesus. And uh, may his love fill you with peace and hope this Christmas. Yes, thank you so very, very much. I love all the cards. And one last one, really pretty blue, for unto us a child is born, nativity scene right there. And uh, may your Christmas be filled with the true miracles and meaning of Jesus' birth. From a dear viewer and a volunteer here at WTJR. Amen, right here in Quincy. Thank you. I love the cards. And we have a Christmas video for you. If some of you got to watch the Women's Joy special uh, Christmas program that I had uh, on for Christmas, you saw videos from several different women. And I had one video that came in from a lady. Her name is Vi. Uh, she calls herself Jolly Dolly now. But some of you will recognize her. She was a DJ on uh, the Cross Radio 91.7 right here in Quincy many years ago. She now lives in Kentucky. And her four-year-old daughter, Elizabeth, made this video for us. So I want to begin the program today. What Christmas means to me. Hi, my name is Dolly, known as Jolly Dolly, and this is my beautiful daughter, Elizabeth June. Slayton. Eliz yes, Elizabeth June Slayton. How old are you, Elizabeth? Four. Yeah, are you fixing to be how old? Five. Ooh, that's almost and you grown. you want to see in here? Yeah, let's show them. Okay. What have you got there? Did you get that today? Here's yeah, now I'm winding it up. Okay, let's wind it up. Something very special. Wow. Yeah. Who got that for you? Your Mimi did, didn't she? She loves you very much. So let's talk about Christmas. What does Christmas mean to you, Elizabeth? A holly jolly Christmas a ho Eve. A holly jolly Christmas Eve? Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Well, I love Christmas about getting our families together and our friends and just having a wonderful time celebrating Jesus' birth. Can you say happy birthday, Jesus? Happy birthday, Jesus. Happy birthday, and I Jesus. And hope you like this. <laughs> and we hope you like that. So all the way from Kentucky, ready? You want to wish him a Merry Christmas? Ready? One, two, three. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Amen. I've really enjoyed the videos. These uh, videos have been women that I have known through the years. And uh, I contacted them and asked them if they'd take their phone and uh, would make a two-minute video 
telling what Christmas means to them. And uh, I just really have enjoyed them and been blessed by them. I hope you've enjoyed them. Well, we've got some pictures and uh, from last week here in the studio at WTJR. And this is first picture is our volunteers that come and help with the newsletter. We had a little uh, Christmas party dinner, you might want to say, get together, fellowship after we uh, uh, folded and uh, got the uh, newsletters ready to mail out for January 2024. And that, ooh, can't believe it's a new year coming up. That's our beautiful Christmas tree here in the studio. I want to thank Mike, Michael Sisk. He's the one that always decorates our tree. And there's just some pictures of us visiting. We just had a good time sharing together, praying together, and fellowshipping and Partaking of the food was a great time. I thank our volunteers. This is from last week on Pray 16. Uh, Gary Wallace is the host, and uh, his co-host was Terry Mayer. She pastors the True Church in uh, Hannibal and Monroe City, Missouri. And there I am taping a spot for uh, A Woman's Joy. This was from my the Christmas program special that I taped. It had all the different videos. This is Larissa Camp. She was one that sent in a video. She was one of the, my first guests on A Woman's Joy many, many years ago. And uh, this is Dr. Deborah Peppers. Many of you remember her. She hosted Outreach Connection here on WTJR. She's now in Florida. And this is Edith on the right and Bootsy on the left. And Bootsy is the mother of Dr. Deborah Peppers and Duke Duvall. And she's 98 years old. And she was visiting Edith out in, I believe it was in uh, Pennsylvania, no, Maryland. She was out in Maryland uh, visiting her a few days while Duke was out uh, ministering. And they sent us a video for Christmas. Amen. This is Minister Darlene Holiday. Remember uh, her as hosting The Secret Place right here on WTJR. She now lives down by St. Louis, Missouri. And then this was a video from the Tri-State Area CWM Center for Women's Ministries. This is Carol Ruffin. And as of January 1st, she will be the president of the outreach ministry there. And several of the women uh, made a beautiful video about the, the uh, work that they do there uh, on South 8th Street here in Quincy. Amen. Uh, last uh, week, we taped some outreach connection programs, and uh, Sandy was unable to be here, so I stepped in and hosted. The first program was with Jake Reed. He is president of the Right to Life Adams County here in Quincy, giving us an update of the events uh, coming up this year. And then this is Wendell McCombs. Uh, he is the president, founder of Jail Ministries for Jesus. And for about 30 years, he has been ministering uh, to those in prison. But they also teach uh, and help license pe men and women to go into the jails and minister to the prisoners. And then this is Carol Ruffin, and she was here from the Tri-State Area CWM to give us an update uh, about what's going on there at the CWM. So you want to be sure and watch those programs this coming week. I know you'll be blessed by them. It's wonderful to know we have so many ministries that reach out to so many people in our area. And I'm glad that WTJR is able to give that information to you over the airwaves. Amen? Amen. Okay, donations for the new tube. We are now over 18000 $59, and I thank everyone for sending a donation. If you'd like to make a donation, just uh, mark on your check. It's for the new tube, and we will get it into that account. Thank you. January 2024 newsletter went out today, and if you'd like to receive this, we can send it either by mail or the email, and there's information to contact us, and uh, we would love to send you one. So give us a call. WTJR, Channel 16, is your locally supported Christian television station. We have five channels right here at WTJR. And I want to once again tell you that 16.3 CTNI, which is the Christian, Spanish Christian uh, programming uh, out of Puerto Rico, is now back on Monday through Friday right here on WTJR from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. 
So you want to be sure and uh, watch that out. Or if you know any people that speak Spanish, uh, uh, be sure and let them know. I have viewers that they don't speak Spanish, but they really enjoy the worship music. So check that out here on WTJR. Right there's the information. You can also web stream us uh, on WTJR.org. And uh, 16.3, you can watch over the air. Our local programs, you can also watch them on our WTJR YouTube page. So if you weren't able to watch them at the time they aired, you can go in the YouTube page at your leisure and watch those programs. Our uh, Christmas outreach that we did year this year was we sent the 26 children at New Donning Children's Home uh, some gifts, and every one of them will be getting a Spanish Bible. And uh, we need or are asking if you'd like to be a part of that or help us cover the cost. Uh, if we had 35 people give $10 donations, you'd help us cover the cost of the gifts that we purchased and the shipping expense. You can just send that right here to us at WTJR 222 North 6th Street and just met, mark on the check that it's for the shoebox ministry. Download the CTM. The app, I should say, on your iPhone, your Android, or your tablet. And you can also put it on Roku and Apple TV app. And you can have all of the 24 affiliate stations of CTN plus CTN Lifestyle on your phone and take it with you. Tell your friends about it. And if you haven't downloaded it yet, take time to do that. I think you'll be blessed and you'll find there are times you're out and away from home and you'd like to have some Christian uh, music or, or messages to listen to and you can download CTN. Take us with you. Amen. Friend us on our Facebook page, CTN Quincy WTJR. We have two live programs on there, which is Pray 16 on Fridays, 11 a.m. and Revive America, uh, first Tuesday of the month. Uh, we start with worship at 7 p.m., a message by evangelist Robert Newton at 7.30. Now, uh, we will not have live uh, Revive America until March of 2024, but uh, you can still, uh, it will be on there on our Facebook page. We have outreach uh, ministry information about WTJR, our local program, CTN, community calendar. You just want to check it out. And I pray you will friend us on your Facebook page, CTN Quincy WTJR. We have prayer here in the studio on Mondays at 1 p.m. We're located at 222 North 6th Street on the second floor. But I'd like to invite you to come and join us. So mark it on your calendar. We do have an elevator and you will have to ring the doorbell. To, so we'll come down and let you in. But we would love to have you come pray with us. If you need prayer, give us a call here, 217-228-1616. If you happen to get the uh, answering machine, please leave your name and phone number you'd like prayer, and we will get back with you. For Pray 16, this coming week, I will be the host. Uh, Gary will be on vacation. And this will be Friday, December 29th. And my co-host will be Sherry McDaniel. And you have, many of you have seen her on A Woman's Story with me. She's also the leader of the Sisters Fellowship Group at the First Baptist Church in Canton, Missouri. We are live on channel 16.1 and our Facebook page and from 11 a.m. to 12 noon. The show is repeated on Mondays at 9 p.m. So you call in your prayer request and your praise reports or you can email pray16 at wtjr.org. We have a live three-hour prayer program from CTN in Florida, Monday through Friday, 1130 p.m. And if you need prayer at any time, go to prayer at ctnonline.com. Soul Winning Training, if you're interested in that, give us a call here. We'll be glad to talk with you, to encourage you. We use the Soul Winning Script from the Great Awakening. And our theme scripture is from Mark 16, 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Christmas specials, we still have coming 
coming up here on Christmas Day, the 25th at 9 p.m. We have the Christmas Spectacular. And then the movie on the 30th of December at 7.30 p.m. We have The King and a Christmas celebration from the Pensacola Christian College. Hometown Happenings. That's uh, This is uh, the time in the behind-the-scenes program, I should say, that we uh, give you information about church and outreach ministry events. The event I want to tell you about this time is the Wind Fire Rain Revival at New Hope Gospel Center, 1009 Lion Street in Hannibal. Their guest speaker will be Pastor Tony Kemp. Now, they are going to have four services this time, January uh, Thursday the 4th at 7 p.m., Friday the 5th at 7 p.m. On Sunday the 7th, they'll have an 11 a.m. and a 7 p.m. service. So come experience the supernatural move of God with Pastor Tony Kemp. So let WTJR help you announce your special services and events, not only for New Year's, but for the coming year. And you can just contact us here, and we'll be glad to get it on. We put it on... um, Hometown Happenings right here on Behind the Scenes. We also put it on our community calendar, 16.1, and we put it on our Facebook page, CTN Quincy WTJR. Okay, amen, amen. Well, today for our promos, I have uh, from Outreach Connection, this will be the program coming up next week. And then from Conquering Your Giants and from Simple Truth. What that means to us. You know, you see signs that says Jesus is the reason for the season. And that's very much what Christmas represents to us. So today my guest is Pastor Robert Axton. And I have asked him, would you mind coming and reading the Christmas story for us today in celebration of Christmas? It's good to have you. Well, thank you. I'm (laughs) glad to be here. Hello, my friend. My name is Duke Duvall. I'm your host every week for Conquering Your Giants. I pray that you had a blessed Christmas. And now then it's time to roll up our sleeves and go to work in a wonderful spiritual way for the new year to see what God has in store. Please come and join me this week as we talk about having a vision for the new year that God has specifically given you. I hope you'll be watching The Simple Truth. In the next couple of weeks, we're going to be looking at a part of the foundational principles that we read in in Hebrews chapter 6, verses 1 and 3, and that we'll be looking closely at repentance and faith and how we use those two and the other four so that we go on to perfection in Christ. Join me. Amen. Amen. Good programs. Be sure and watch. We have a lot of Christmas specials that we've been airing and just some wonderful movies. And I believe they will bless you and draw you even closer to the Savior, Jesus Christ, that was born on that Christmas morn. Amen. Amen. CTN WTJR. Enjoy life. Consider eternity. We've been speaking about the word life for several weeks now and we have been reading where life what is life jesus jesus said i am the life and our scripture today comes from matthew 1 21 because we've been talking about the name jesus for several weeks now and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name jesus for he shall save his people from their sins They shall call his name Jesus. I'm going to read a little bit from the January newsletter. And I want to read that same scripture out of Matthew 1, 21, out of the Amplified Bible. And it says, she will give birth to a son and you shall name him Jesus, which means the Lord is salvation. For he will save his people from their sins. The word save in this verse is talking about those who 
by personal faith, accept him, Jesus Christ, as Savior, and are saved from the penalty of sin and reconciled with the Father. Because see, when sin fell in the garden with Adam and Eve, we were separated from God because he cannot look upon sin. But God made a way through his son, Jesus. That's why Jesus came. He came not to condemn the world, but the world would be saved through him. Continuing on in verse Matthew 1, 23, out of the Amplified, we read, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and give birth to a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which when translated means God with us. His name is Emmanuel, God with us. I don't know if you realize it, but there's something very important about a name. Those words, these words by which a person is known and addressed by carry meaning. A person's name holds a significant connection to their culture, language, and sense of belonging. And most of all, your name matters to God. You ever think about that? Your name matters to God. Remember Abraham? I mean, Abram became Abraham, and Sari became Sarah, and Saul became Paul, <laughs> and Jacob became Israel. Yes, those names mean something. And most of all, your name matters to God. Scripture says, for you, God, formed my inward parts. You, God, knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. That was from Psalms 139, 13 and 14 out of the English um, Standard Version. That means you have purpose in life. The babe born in the manger came to bring you life. The word became flesh and dwelt among us in John 1, 14. And God is with us. Have you been reconciled back to God? Are you walking in the abundant life that Jesus has for you? Make 2024 the year that you call upon the name of Jesus. Just call upon his name. And it says, he shall save his people from their sins. Amen. What a precious gift God gave us when he gave us his son. Amen. Today for our bridge, we have Pastor Tom Raines of First Southern Baptist Church here in Quincy. He was in the studio a couple months ago and he said, have you ever thought about making uh, videos? Ask different people to make videos two-minute videos, that is, two minutes, and say what Christmas means to me. And so because he gave me the idea for all the videos that were on A Woman's Joy this week, I wanted to have him make the video also. So this is Pastor Tom Raines from Quincy. Hi, I'm Pastor Tom Raines of First Southern Baptist Church here in Quincy, and I want to share for just a moment what Christmas means to me. Christmas to me is summarized in what the angels said to the shepherds on that first Christmas night. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. That message has a threefold meaning to me. First of all, it's personal. The angels said to the shepherds, for unto you, God personally cares about us. And every Christmas we're reminded of his great care for us. But it's also timely. For unto you is born this day. God is concerned with where you and I are every day. He's concerned about our lives and everything that affects us. But it is also a life-giving message. For the angel said that night, For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. On that first Christmas Eve, what happened was, Jesus came to earth on a rescue mission to save you and me from our sins. The Bible says that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The reason we have Christmas is so that we can have Good Friday and celebrate Easter, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Christmas to me can be summarized in the fact that God cares for me. He knows where I'm at in my life, and he wants to give me life eternal. I pray that this Christmas, you'll have a Christmas that is Christ-honoring and blessed by him. 
Amen. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate you doing that. Well, we've got just a little over two minutes to go through our local programming this coming week on A Woman's Joy, a time of good tidings. And I bring a message for you Monday, 5 a.m., Tuesday at 9.30 p.m., and Friday at 7.30 p.m. Behind the Scenes, a program you're watching right now, airs on Friday at 6 p.m., Sunday at 7.30 p.m., and Monday at 1 p.m. Christ Video, produced by Jim Wilson, our WTJR engineer, airs on Tuesday at 3 p.m., Friday at 10 p.m., and Saturday at 11.30 p.m. Conquering Your Giants, hosted by Duke Duvall, airs on Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. and Sunday at 6.30 a.m. His message this coming week is New Year, New Vision. And remember, if you miss any of the programs, the local programs, you can watch them on our WTJR YouTube page. Musical Memories with Martha Reed Garvin. Beautiful Hymns of the Church. You can watch that on Sunday or Saturday at 6.30 p.m. and Sunday at 8 p.m. Outreach Connection, hosted by Sandy Axton. Her guest this next week is Pastor Robert Axton from the United Pentecostal Church in Palmyra, Missouri. And this special Christmas story program will air on Monday at 11 a.m., Wednesday at 9 p.m., and Saturday at 5 p.m. The Potter's Wheel with George Osmus airs on Monday at 8.30 p.m. and Saturday at 11 p.m. The Revive America, as I said earlier, are the live programs. The next one will be in March of 2024. You can come right here to the studio and be a part of it. We'll give you more information as we get closer to that time. The Simple Truth, hosted by John Furness, and teaching this week is the Foundational Principles Part 2. You can watch that on Monday at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. The Ten Commandments series hosted by teacher Jim Daniels. Watch it on Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. And WTGR Classics, The Secret Place, hosted by Darlene Holiday, And Exploring God's Word with Pastor Robert Axton airs on Wednesdays at 9.30 a.m. and Thursday at 9 p.m. And we just have a lot of wonderful programs right here at WTJR. I want to wish you and your family a merry and blessed Christmas, not only from me and the staff here at WTJR, Jim Wilson, Penny Wilson, and Karen White, but from the CTN Network in Clearwater, Florida. God bless you.